think this is uh, truly, uh, I believe, and I agree. I would say that uh, 500 years later, people would still remember and admire and respect even more than today <coughs> about him. So there are so many people who are respected, famous, rich, successful, you know, people here today. Uh, there were so many rich and successful, famous people 50 years ago, 100 years ago, but not so many people were remembered. But when, when time passed on and on, there are some kind of guy whose name is going to become forgotten or whose name become bigger and bigger. And Steve Jobs is one of the guy, you know, the name is going to become a bigger and bigger. That he's that kind of guy. He he made the lifestyle of mankind changed, you know, at least three times. Four times. There's not many people like that. So and, uh, uh, you know, he kept on saying, well, we have only limited time, only one, one chance of life. And uh, uh, time passed so quickly. So what do you want to spend your life for? Don't waste your time. And, you know, go challenge, right? Uh, so that's, that's the kind of thing. He, he, he actually meant it and he, he really meant it. And, executed what he said. Yeah, I, I think, and we've covered a lot of this, but let me just, some of Steve Jobs' words, um, we should all take the heart. And he, he once said, have the courage to follow your heart and your intuition. And we're all, there aren't too many Steve Jobs out there. There aren't too many Masa Sons. That, you know, the reality is that um, that's a tough, uh, you, there are very few of those in a generation, uh, in several generations. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you cannot contribute in a significant, significant way. And looking at that pie chart where it says, you know, 50% of the respondents uh, have an interest in being an entrepreneur or starting a company. And uh, you're probably not going to become a Steve Jobs, but you can contribute in a incredibly significant way. And I would argue that both the future of Japan, the future of the United States is dependent upon um, entrepreneurs and building new companies and uh, I fundamentally believe that and so it's great to, to dream to be the next Steve Jobs that's what uh, entrepreneurism quite frankly is all about um, I've dreamt <laughs> over the years uh, with different ideas about being Steve Jobs um, but you can contribute in so many different ways without ultimately achieving um, that level of status. Yeah, I think it's so important to have a dream. It's so important to have someone as your hero that you respect, that you dream of becoming such a guy. And it doesn't have to be entrepreneur, it can be Ichiro. Uh, it can be, you know, whatever movie star or rock star or entrepreneur. It's important to have the dream and hero in your heart so that you, you go for that. It's only your life, so you go and have challenge on your own you know, spirits for the dream. That's the thing. Uh, and actually, Steve Jobs, when he was uh, a college student, he uh, traveled to uh, India and uh, studying Zen and the Buddhism, right? So uh, there was a, a possibility that he became a, a Zen master, you know, and uh, uh, 
But uh, at the branch of his course, he chose to become an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, having your own theme for your life, that's the key. You can be an artist, you can be a sportsman, uh, or you can be uh, you know, entrepreneur, but whatever the course it is, I also wanted to be, become a painter, an you know, art, artist of uh, painting, like a uh, uh, you know, uh, poor artist. That was one of my dreams. It's, it's not money, it's not fame, it's, it's something that you wanted to become with, as, as your passion, as a dream. I think that's the key. Yeah, you know, you raise an important point that, again, I get asked about a lot. Some people think it's all about financial success. Um, and obviously, Steve Jobs and, and you and others have been tremendously successful. But I've never met an entrepreneur that did it for the money. I have did that and in my entire career. They do it because of the dream, because of accomplishing something. And yes, there's nothing wrong with financial success. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But that is not that what drives uh, the typical entrepreneur. And I would also add that there are so many areas where we need continued innovation through whether it is in the whole renewable energy area, um, biotechnology, new drugs, new medical devices.